Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and today we're looking at another game from the 2013 annual roguelike release party. <laughs> There's a mouthful that isn't 70 roguelike challenge. Anyway, uh, this game's called Pixel Dungeon, as you can clearly see. It's created by a developer named Wataboo, and it is for mobile applications. So you might want to take a look at it for yourself, Mr. Mobile Users, of which I'm sure there are plenty. Maybe not all, and maybe not few, but... Plenty is, is probably correct. So let's just go ahead and start. We have a warrior, a mage, and a rogue. I think I'm going to use the rogue. It sounds like a roguelike rogue. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm speaking like that. So as you might guess, a mobile game usually involves touch movements. And, it, and you can already see that we have some brogue well I don't know if it's well actually now that I'm looking at it influences are brogue so yes I guess this game does have some brogue concepts such as grass actually limiting vision so you know there's that much but we should perhaps look at these bits and pieces so that we know what's actually going on oh that's the wait button okay and then you see so you can select cell high grass just normal grass, I guess we cut it, and floor, what about ourselves? Yes, okay. So we can look at our, our health, experience, strength, and uh, you know, other stuff that, who cares. Wait, wait, buffs. Buffs might be important. Well, you know, assuming we had some. But we can always look at them when, when we get better, so. That's something that we're going to keep in mind for sure as we continue to play through. Ooh, that was damage. It was damage of the kind I don't like because I'm already... Well, it looks like there's a bit of restoration going on. Because I was at 18 and now I'm at 16 even though I've taken 5 total damage. And it looks like this is re regenerating here, so... Uh, yep, it's definitely regenerating. Okay, cool. And we also have this backpack that contains stuff in it. Like this ring of shadows. Enemies will be less likely to notice you if you wear this ring. Cursed rings will alert enemies. Yes, this is very brogue-like. Which is not at all a bad thing. In fact, Brogue is one of those kinds of games that you should be in influenced by because it is a good game. And it uses a number of different mechanics that are interesting, simple, effective, easy to learn, and I like them. So, wait, what? I just ate an eye, didn't I? Unless, yeah, I just ate an eye. That's, that's what just happened. All right, yeah, that was likely to be a dead end. And then we just go over here. Is there like an auto explore button? Oh, okay, so we do sometimes have to search, it would seem, for the ability to know if there's a secret around. So that's the next floor already. But we don't know if there's anything super special, like this treasure chest. Shut a beast potion. Son of a goat. Ugh, hold Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes Google is very, um, well, actually, just companies in general, but I guess I've been noticing it from Google lately. Like to say that we want to, ha oh, I guess that was teaching me that some doors are locked, and uh, doors that are locked often have, oh, uh, oh, okay, so this is still very broke, because it's, you can only choose one, one prize. So what if I drop it? Nope. Okay. That's fine. So this is a staff. We don't know what it... Sorry, a wand. We don't know what it does. And we also have the scrolls. And yes, as usual, I will be a darn hoarder and not use them until I absolutely have to. Is there a map button? I see this is my... This is my quiver. I don't... Ugh. Fine, whatever. Looks like I didn't lose it, so that's good. Um, but yeah, if I had a means to map, don't overestimate your strength. Oh yes, that actually that actually has to do with rogue, of course. And I guess we're just going to talk about rogue all the time. But I mean, those of you who might have seen my rogue playthrough, honestly, I don't know if I could recommend it anymore. It's pretty old, and I speak. I kind of speak the way I'm speaking right now, where I don't really say anything, and uh, 
Yes, right. I think I also had a cold at the time, so you hear me sniffling and kind of sounding, kind of sounding drowsy. Well, not drowsy. Um, well, drowsy maybe, just because of the coldness of uh, being having a cold. No, more than that. Um, sounding like I don't even know. <laughs> no offense to well, no offense to people who. So kind of like this, but uh, I don't think anybody actually sounds like that on purpose. Um, mostly, like really trying that anyway. My point is, I kind of sound that way, and <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it. Oh crap! I'm starving, and I tried to push a button. Now let's eat some food. There we go. Where's my food ration? I don't know. How do I tell when I'm hungry? Is there a... It doesn't really say. Catalogus. That's, is that my name? Huh. Oh, whatever. We need to keep moving. New... Oh. Ha! Huh. I, I earned an achievement! Can grasculations there, GH. You really know what you are doing, the hunter of gamids. Except mostly you've been playing roguelikes for the past two years. I gotta stop eating those eyeballs. Leave them for when they're important. I am certainly noticing myself stronger now that I've leveled up, <clears throat> and it looks like yes. Okay, so we should enter each and every grass, just in case there is something in it. I'm going to ignore those, though, especially if I don't have to go back to them. Okay, good. Kill this rat. But yes, you can see the Brogue influences, not only in the mechanics, but the general feel of the dungeon, I think, is, is fairly similar. Uh, you can only do so much on a mobile, uh, whatever's, on a device, but I kind of, I get the feeling, because there's like little pools of water and these little bits and pieces that just kind of add flavor. Remember that raising your strength is not the only way to access better equipment. Right, well, you know, if I actually gained equipment at any point, I would uh, have fun with that, but uh, seed of earth root. Grow an earth root. I have no idea what that's supposed to do, but we're gonna try it when there's an enemy around, just in case it's it's kind of uh, you know attack based. Rather not have to waste my precious seed roots. See, I see this up here. I don't know if that's my experience bar or what, because I have no idea when I get hungry in this game. And there was nobody. It's a trap. Hold on. Check the trap. Alarm trap! Yes, okay, so that was indeed a trap, and that's kind of what they look like. Okay, so the game just tells me when you're hungry. Excuse me. The game tells us when we are hungry. Oh, uh, let's not be stupid. There we go. You know the strategy, the one where you just kind of make sure that you are fighting one enemy at a time. However, this means we should consider drinking something. And pray that it's not a potion of of poison. Wait, what? Why am I almost dying to this guy? Huh. That's not good at all. I mean, what's my health right now? It's pretty low. Wow, it's low. Also, I'm hungry. That doesn't have anything to do with it, does it? Uh, let's pray that that... That didn't hurt... Man, what happened there? <laughs> Why did I suddenly suck? It's a great question. Can I like... Oh, you can do this. Oh, that's cool. How do I start over again? Oh, and then that's that's the look itself. That's cool. But how do I start over? Do I just push the button that brings me back to everything? That looks... No. How do I start over? Double click? Double click. Um... No, that's clearly not working. Known potions. Oh, oh, I knew. Wait, that was that was probably told to me because of me dying. So it might as well just tell me. Anyway, let me figure out how to move off this screen and start a new game. So back when I'm back. Okay, apparently you just press the back button on your phone, but uh, in my case that was not quite as obvious because I'm not on an actual phone. Anyway, that's uh. Let's just check settings. Look at this zoom. We can we can look close. Or we can look farther away, which most of the time I prefer. Let's try this. Was that the same? I think this is a little farther out. And I do like that, so that's fine. 
Um, and now let's go ahead and start again! With, wait, a rogue? How do I... Put exit? Ugh. Not that way. I just wanted to try a new class. Because... I don't know what the rogue... The rogue's probably good at throwing, and I clearly wasn't using that ability. So let's go with the mage, and not use his ability either. Like this. Wait, what? What kind of zappy is this? When this wand is used as a melee weapon, its average damage is 3 points per hit. Okay. Okay. Sure. It's equipped, right? Now it's equipped. Is it... Oh! And then here's the... Okay. Its average damage is 3 points. It is a rather... Okay, good. Well, that's good. Maybe that... Yeah, that means maybe I can hit him more than once. Alright, look at that. Look at me. I, I look like Colonel Sanders over here in a, in a sailor suit. That's... That's a weird thought. Anyway, whatever. Uh-oh. These are traps. Toxic gas traps at that. This looks like a job for learning how to solve the puzzle. Another big thing in Brogue is, is the fact that you're often given a puzzle and... Is this uh No, okay. Oh, that's a, that's a locked door. I gotta find the key. Um, oh, there's a key. Well, ta-da! Really? I hurt zero? Dang. Give me that key. Give me that arrow, too. That incendiary dart. Ta-da! That is a fast attack, I gotta admit. Certainly was doing a lot better than I was with the rogue, but... As I clearly said, and as was clearly obvious, the rogue is supposed to be the one that kind of uses ranged attacks. I was not doing that. And if we notice, the wizard gets hurt rather easily. So that's something that we have to watch out for. As the wizard. Who is physically weak. And so now we get to choose. We can choose a sailor suit. What is this? Sta oh. Well, I guess I'll choose a sailor suit, right? Cloth armor. And a sword. Are they like pluses at all? I already have the, the the normal. Usually requires 14 points of strength. This weapon is probably too heavy for you. Well, I guess I'll... Wait, can I pick up both of them? I, I can pick up both of them. Okay, so it's not one of those either-or cases. This should have been obvious because there was no... No treasure chests to have to make that decision in the first place. I'm gonna have to figure out something that's gonna fix that, though, if if such a thing actually exists. It might not. I don't see it. Oh, look at that! I can use scroll, mouse scroll for that. Scrolly pants. Gold? I haven't seen that yet. Okay, so... I don't know. I'm not sure it's quite possible to do this thing, then. Usually they give you an item that's capable of, of handling it somewhere in the level. So, for instance... Okay, well, great. Let's drink this one. Aha! Bingo! And then you get that... What is, what is this? Is this anything? Oh, just a pedestal. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, usually that's that, that's given to you. Why is it... It says there's two enemies... Oh! I can see two enemies because two enemies exist. According to my magic... My magic. Oh, come on. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I just know it. Okay, well, we're not dead. And I have this. Oh, great. Plus one strength. Just what I need. Um, well, I guess we'll wait. Oh, thank you. So much for not killing me. Well, we can wait things out a bit while we regenerate. And, oh, well, I am starving. So we will eat. We shall fancy the deliciousness that we have. Wow. I mean, I'd love to use my wand, but it's got limited charges, right? Isn't that what I'm telling? That's what's telling me? If you were stuck, search for hidden doors. How about that? And this requires... Ac oh, I guess, what is my strength right now? 11, okay. Need 12 before I can truly use the darts that are awesome. Oh, sure, let's... You gotta be kidding me. That's all that hurt? 
Well, let's just try it three times. Can I? Nope, oh, can't touch myself. Ugh. Okay, well, we got the level up. Now you are healthier and more focused. It's easier for you to hit enemies and dodge their attacks. Well, thanks for telling me that, game. You told me that last time and I didn't listen to you. But I, I kind of... I could tell that that was the case. Oh, and it does look my, like my wand charge is returned to me. Okay. Alright, cool. Ta-da! We got 100 gold. Alright, cool. Oh, barnacles. So wait. Okay, so you don't get a fr you don't get a free hit by kind of being silly meaners like that. No, that wasn't in anything. That was in fact the corpse. What? Oh darn it! Poison. We need to get out. My God. Oh jeez. Wow. Death from toxic gas. That definitely happened. Okay, well... Oh, I don't know. Sorry, I didn't want to start with that. And of course, I don't know if I have to do that every time, but whatever. So we learned that the mage has uses, if you're smart, and not stupid like me. So let's just go ahead and finally use the warrior and see how this goes. Who collects eyeballs. Yes, 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 I see. And this guy starts with a bit of strength. Just a little bit. And he starts with... A... yeah. Well, I had darts last time with the rogue. I'm, I'm just gonna assume that the rogue was better at using those things. And... come on. Come on, warrior! I'm hoping that the warrior doesn't... isn't just kind of neither of those things. I mean, he seems like he doesn't quite get hurt as much, so... Did I really mean to do that? I did not. As you can see, that's why I've returned. Eyeballs are disgusting when you eat them for health. Get that food. Ooh, and it's a it's a a seed. We forgot to use that last time. Seed of blind weed. And then I get a huh, whatever. And here's books, shelves. I can't do anything to them. Cheap useless books. Alright. My favorite bedtime reading. Oh, you did. oh, yeah, another thing in Brogue is that the enemies aren't always aware of you. They will, in fact, assume to just be traveling unless otherwise provoked. So there is that. Where do I have these keys from? Huh. Was the warrior just... No, oh, well, there's a key. But was this key actually important? The game doesn't tell you if which class does what, but maybe that's not always necessary. Really shouldn't be, with classes as obvious as this. A long sword. Yes, just take it. Cloth armor. Thank you. And what do we have now? Then we have a cloth armor. Maybe. The long sword requires a lot of strength. Great. So maybe leveling up will give me strength? I'm lucky. Probably not. What, what does this button do? Oh. Just get to the enemy. <laughs> Alright. Dig that. But yes, I mean, this game is broguelike. Ah, it's, it's a broguelike even. Just, how about that? I can't believe I just committed myself to such language. But this game, well, it seems challenging. Because you can't just mindlessly go about with the non-melee classes. And sometimes you get some really unlucky hits and some really lucky hits. And all of that's good. So yeah, I don't have the matching key. So I'm guessing I just picked them up. Hard to believe I wasn't paying attention that much that I didn't see the key I was collecting, but whatever. Could have been hiding in the tall grass. Island key? Show me the island door. Poof. Yeah, you can tell this is the class for people who don't feel like trying to do anything. Trying to think about what they're actually doing and instead just do it. And maybe that's the best way I will be able to handle it myself. Maybe. 
better yet, maybe I should be a bit of a critical thinker. What are the, th the chances? What is this? It's a cauldron, yeah. Wait, what? Drop some seeds here to cook a potion. Nice, okay. Uh, oh, do I have to be standing on it? Hold on. Okay, you can stand on it. Drop! And now I have indigo potions. Wait, but I still have the seed? Um... So... I'm guessing that it just gave me two indigo potions and that was that. Just a one shot, which is fine, again. I just need to know that that's the case. It wasn't inherently obvious to me. Maybe it should have been. <laughs> Whatever. So now we can access that last other door. Oh, come on, rat, you're still sleeping? There we go. It must be slow for the rats to be moving as fast as they are. Yeah, I'm gonna take... Oh, this is not a good time. This is not a good time, dude. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I just know about potions of strength now? When did that happen? Is it because I'm a warrior and warriors know about those? What? This is... Oh, wow. Um, well, I don't expect this to go on for much, too much longer, so I'll just level that up. Why not? It might make more... Usually it makes more sense to do it later on, because it requires more experience at that point. But I just kind of want to make sure I have the strength now to do what I want to do now. And where is that other door? I still have the key, yes? Yes. So where is... Oh, there it is. Ta-da! I am hungry. I should use that. Mail and mail. What do we got then? Now what's my strength at currently? Yes, examine me. Just... So there's nothing I can use here special. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna wait till I'm starving before I do anything at all. Anything useful whatsoever. Where is the floor out of here? <coughs> it's somewhere. I think it was in that direction. Okay, well, good. There is, there is my food. And time on to the next floor. Yeah, the warrior might go on for a while, depending. We'll see how the next floors treat us. There could be something super deadly nasty around here. Otherwise, you know, I might just cut it off at a certain point. But let me just say that this game's fun. This game is, for a mobile game, quick doing a dungeon crawler where you can have crazy shenanigans that go. And for brogue influences especially, I think this is kind of a perfect little little game to play. On the, on the go, on the run, on a bus, um, uh, with a pun. <laughs> Great. Good job there, GH. You definitely showed them how to do stuff. Okay, so now we can drop another seed. We have a number of seeds. Blindweed, sungrass. Indigo potions were level up, right? Oh, well, I guess it's not always the same one. I guess not. But I do have a potion of strength, which gave me a badge by having it. Let's go ahead and equip. Whatever. If it's cursed, it's cursed. And I just have to, to hate myself for it. Like, let's try to unequip it. Well, that worked. Crap, which one was it? Huh. It's... I don't remember. It doesn't... Unfortunately, it's not too obvious. In Brogue, it's obvious enough, because everything kind of has its own coordinated letter. So you can keep track of that letter, and then you're good to go. Um, but we need to eat some food. There we go. Wait, what? Is this stealthy mechanics? This place is just hard to see, just because it's in the shadows. Oh, you can just... Wait. Well, I don't know. Something happened there. And there weren't any enemies, so it didn't really mean much. But I do love the fact that I'm kicking butt with an attack that isn't readily visible according to my weapon. 
So yeah, let's just dungeon dive a bit. Maybe check some some room areas. But otherwise, dungeon dive. Beware of goo. Is that a, is that 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 one uncle that sneezes? Aha! Well, I guess that was obvious. Glurp, glurp. Yeah, this guy is pretty tough. Okay, so this is kind of the the first boss ba battle that you have to worry about. Yeah, and he's gonna be mean about it. Oh great, I caught fire. But I didn't catch fire because... Well, I guess that means here. We know it's a potion of incendiary stuff, so we can throw it at you. Ta-da! Oh, I'm also on fire though. But now you're on fire and I'm not. Right? Nope! Oh, he hurt me 22. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Well, that is the first boss you gotta worry about, probably, and that will have to be something that you, the players, other players, will have to try out. Because there's certainly more to this game. I didn't do it, but if you put effort into it, I'm sure you can get quite far. So yes, and then you can go to main menu to switch your characters. So anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing Pixel Dungeon. Um, it's cool, it's heavily influenced by Bro, but that's a good thing. Um, especially because it's on a, a different application, and a simpler method for people getting into it and just want a quick romp through a roguelike. Join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 2013 annual roguelike release party. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys. And take care.